All right, welcome. So I'm going to show you method number two. And method number two is we're going to find the low spot of this tire because that's going to be our new starting point. So, but we're going to have to take a reading to find the low spot here. So that's a let's find here just a good starting point. I've got my dial indicator reading. Again, I could really care less about numbers. Really, what I'm looking for is the low side. So mainly this needle going to the left. So. All right, let's uh, rotate. Again, I could care less how 10,000, 20, or whatever. So look at there. Watching that needle. See if that needle, oh, uh, there, look at the needle's coming back up. So we'll take a piece of tape there. That's a, a low side. We might have other low sides. But we don't know until we make our full 360. And in this situation, I'm positive. I'm looking for that needle to go back to zero on the other side. Not doing it. Bingo, there's our starting point. So what did that reading tell us? This is our low side of the whole thing. So, method number two reading. Our low side is our new starting point. So let's bring that down. Okay, there's zero. So now let's zero out our dial indicator here. Because remember, this is... Now what's this going to do? As we rotate this, this needle is going to be to the right. The fat side of the tire. So let's start taking our new reading. So there's ten thousands, twenty, about twenty-eight. Okay, right there. All right, about thirty thousands. Now we're coming back to our low side starting point. Should be coming back to zero. And there you go. So what did that reading tell us? Well, this round thing is thirty thousands out of tolerance. So, this method we just started with our low side. We had to take a reading to find our low side first. For a starting point, everything was on the positive side. Maybe a little easier to read or understand for some folks.